Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we see what makes the D a college town. Get a taste of Ethiopia, the Blue Nile, and then we show you in on upcoming events all the way from Labor Day through Christmas. So stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. We may not think of Detroit as a college town, but by all rights we are. We've got top universities right here in an urban setting, surrounded by cars, culture, gaming, music, and sports, all right here in the D. So hey, this gorgeous campus that I'm on, it's University of Detroit Mercy. It's right in Detroit amidst all the action. Let's go check it out. I stepped onto campus and I was like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. We are the largest private Catholic university in the state. We have a diverse, comprehensive list of academic programs. So they come to UDM first because of our quality of our academic programs, but mm -hmm, also because sure. of the type of student experience that they will receive on campus as well as in the surrounding area of Detroit. It is a gorgeous campus. And about how many kids go here? We have about 5,000 students enrolled in our undergraduate, graduate, and professional programs. So that would make for like a unique, intimate learning experience, I would imagine. I think we offer the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. We offer an intimate, in-classroom experience. Our average classroom size is about 22 students. Nice. But then we're located in this big urban city. I like the one-on-one. -on -one. And I also get to know my professors better, which is just amazing. What drew you to Detroit? Well, you know, being from New York, big sports town, yeah. Detroit is definitely up there with Chicago, you know, mm -hmm. L.A. Yeah. And um, the opportunities for sports for me, and then academics, and it's just a really good place of employment and um, sports, and I enjoy all of it. You know, we are Sports Town USA, Detroit, yeah. so we've got all the major sporting events in the city as well. And then, of course, they've got Detroit's nightlife and Listen, there's museums, and... cultural events, mm -hmm. the DIA, with, um, which has one of the largest and most significant collections in the United States. Mm -hmm. Concerts, you know, big names always hit Detroit. Great restaurants, yeah. shopping. Yeah. Freshmen, we usually go off campus. And we have Nikki D's down the street, and then you can go downtown. They have Pizza Populous, you know, Lions game. Mm -hmm. And um, during our PTV, we actually went on a boat ride down the Detroit River, and they oh, took us around. Yeah. yeah, it was great. We've gone mm -hmm. to Mexican town, we've gone to Greek town. Food is always a big part of my life. Coney Island, mm -hmm. um, American Lafayette, you know, they're great. Well, I think urban universities are, are, are a great asset to uh, students who want to really live and also play in the community. And I say play uh, in, a, in a very, very positive kind of sense because you take a campus like ours. We have three campuses, one at law and dental school, and this one from the undergraduate and graduate schools. But students like to be able to uh, be in an environment where they have a sense of community mm -hmm. and also feel like they're really in the city. So it's easy for them to go downtown. Mm -hmm. It's easy for them to go some uh, nearby local communities. And it's also a great opportunity for them to be able to do some of their co-ops, some of their internships, and also do a lot of service in the community as well. I would totally recommend it to other um, kids. The small community feel, but also the opportunities that you have off campus or tremendous like going downtown and having so much to do around the city just a great opportunity go detroit titans we have a tremendous history uh top 50 players of all time a lot of championships and just uh, exciting we have a lot of basketball games on campus which is nice yeah our basketball team, if they like win by a certain number of points, they um, we get um, free Buddy's pizzas, which is right down the road, and we go there a lot <laughs> because they win a lot. And, and pizza we're like, in hey, college. Free yeah. pizza, yeah. <laughs> we're near near downtown. We're mm -hmm. only 10 minutes away. Yep. Uh, we've got a, a, a great campus. 
and uh, great facilities, and uh, we, we play some of the best teams in the country. I'm a huge Red Wings fan, huge Tigers fan, and it was great to like be in the city and like really feel the rhythm of the sports, especially because we can get discounted tickets as students, so <laughs> it's perfect. Bonus! Yes. <laughs> Architecture is one of the unique programs here at UDM. Being in the city of Detroit is a really incredible opportunity for us. Our students have an opportunity to apply their creativity out in the real world, working with real clients in real situations. Detroit is an amazing urban environment where they can tap into the entrepreneurial creativity that's become so prevalent in the city today. What you see here is uh, our IGVC team working. Mm -hmm. IGVC stands for Intelligent Ground Vehicle Competition. So this is a competition our uh, electrical and robotics engineering students participate every year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, it is um, on vehicles which are autonomous, which is they, they guide themselves around fields, open fields. Over 50 universities participate in this, mm -hmm. and we have been champions three years in a row. Ah, <laughs> congratulations! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it's all their hard work. <laughs> well, she just delivered her baby. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm in a hospital room, right. not a classroom. Right. Nursing is one of the strongest programs here, right? right? Right. One of the things they've been doing this week is doing a simulation, taking care of somebody who gave birth that has some complications. She actually talks. She actually gave birth. They had to know what to do. This is one of the features of our university. We have an excellent simulation lab. A lot of people come here because of that. They see this simulation lab and yeah. think, wow, this is really a neat way to learn. It's a, a very interactive, and we get to go to four different counties around the area, so you really get to see how different hospitals work in the area. You can't get any more downtown than UDM Law School. We're right across from the Renaissance Center. There's the Detroit River right over there. And just around the corner, there's restaurants, nightlife, coffee shops, Campus Marshes Park. You name it, there's a plethora of things to do. One of the things that we offer here that is really unique mm -hmm. um, and brings many uh, Canadian students to our law school uh, is a joint program with the University of Windsor, oh. where if you come to our law school and mm -hmm. you attend Windsor at the same time, there is a joint curriculum where you can then uh, become licensed in both countries. Right. And similarly, we've started a program with Mexico, with a Mexican law school, where there's also that uh, opportunity for a joint degree. You could become licensed in Mexico, the United States, and Canada. Well, some of the best experiences about attending UDM Law mm -hmm. are just some of the extracurricular activities and a lot of the activities and the groups from the Black Law Student Association and mm -hmm. a lot of the help the professors offer outside of class and just in their own hours. Yeah. It's a real family type of environment. So we can't make a stop at UDM without coming to the dental school. We have over 5,000 living alumni Oh my, that's, a, that's big. Now you're, what, one of only two in the state? Correct. Uh, University of Michigan and University of Detroit Mercy are the only two dental schools in the state of Michigan. These are actual students performing? These on... are students who will be graduating next year. They're fourth year dental students. Mm -hmm. They're uh, performing procedures on patients as part of their educational program and we see over uh, 14,000 patients a year. We do over 100,000 procedures as part of the educational program. When you think of the D, think of top universities in a vibrant urban setting, which just add to the overall flavor of the D. I love you, DM. restaurant in Ferndale just off of Woodward on Nine Mile and a minute ago I'm in the lobby and I hear this kid on the phone with his buddy saying just bring $25 and come on down and meet us and he's like that's all the money you made today do come on down it'll totally be worth it now if that doesn't say it all I don't know what does so come on let's go inside and have some authentic Ethiopian cuisine the reason I opened an Ethiopian restaurant which is a Blue Nile Every big city deserves to have a diversity. 
And based on that, we brought up an Ethiopian cuisine, which is very authentic, very culturally oriented. You don't have to have 3,000 miles to drive right. so that you could be in Ethiopia. So we brought it in such a way that the food, the atmosphere, the ambience, and the service, the uniform, everything will feel you that you're there. We are a, a destination restaurant. We're not just a restaurant where to eat. We are a restaurant where to dine. Dining is something else. You take time out and you pleasure. We are for that. We give you a hotel for your hands to wash. You roll up your sleeve. We bring a little bit of everything we have on the menu for you. You just roll up your sleeve and you dig in. Oh, Whatever awesome. you like, you ask for more. Whatever you don't like, there's no hard feeling. Yeah. If you indulge it too much, you need a sister we have a stretcher to take you out. You don't <laughs> have to worry how much you eat. Right. You know, that's how good it is. We have a, a booth, mm -hmm. and we also have a, an, an American and Ethiopian style. You see the chairs as you see it here, right. the basket over there. That's where we have the famous basket will be taken out, and that's where we bring you the food here. Food. For those who want very authentic, I have on the other side the very small low chair, the low chair, the chair which will bring you back totally Ethiopia. It is also uh, historically we have few things here. I just want you to see the umbrellas. You mm -hmm. see, this is very significant of, of, of the Ethiopians. And you, every, 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 every ladies have to have an umbrella for the sun okay. and the rain. It is majestic. It's um, the kings, the queens, all those people. Sure. That's how they've been identified and dignified and also uh, given all that respect based on what the kind of umbrella they are. This is the, the angel. The angel? Yes, okay. It's, it is an Ethiopian drawing. You see the big eye? Yes. An angel on the top, an angel on the little down there on the bottom, mm -hmm. an angel on the other side. That is giving you to protect while you are in this restaurant. Mm -hmm. So spiritually, you're here more covered so that you have a good time, and feel secure, mm -hmm. relax, joyful, happiness, and so on. <music> This is the, the, the cups and the, the, the cutleries we have at home. You see the angels here, oh, the, the yeah. big eyed man. This is traditional Ethiopian po coffee pot. And then we serve it traditionally like that. So is it a really strong coffee? Yes, full bodied coffee, like Turkish coffee okay. they call it. Mm -hmm. It's a full bodied rich. You know that coffee was originated in Ethiopia? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a place called Kafa. It, that's a contribution of Ethiopia to the world, is coffee. This is also, we have some Ethiopian traditional um, clothes we have. If you notice this one, this is a whisk. Whisk. Yeah. Fan. Fan, yeah, Fan. yeah. Oh, exactly. Oh. You use that for that kind of purposes as well. And this is also traditional because it has a lot of um, historical things there. You see the little homes in Ethiopia. This is handmade of wool. Now what would you do with this? It's this is traditional, you hang them on the walls. It's and uh, by the way, this is where we come from. Okay, this is Ethiopia, mm -hmm. this is Africa, and this is where Ethiopia is. Oh, a very I mountainous see. country. The, uh, yeah, Kafa, coffee home. Exactly, right on there. yes, yeah. that's what I was saying. It's <laughs> a coffee home from there. And this is some of the handicraft. We, oh. we mm -hmm. support the, the, the women's in Ethiopia. Is that how the clothing and the jewelry, it's all made there? Exactly. Everything is made there. So we bring it here, we sell it to the customer, we send back the money to them. Very so nice. that gives them a little economic independence. All the vegetable vegetarian right now. We we'll bring the meat; it will be separate. Okay. However, this is the uh, red lentils, mm -hmm. the yellow split peas, the cabbage, the spicy yellow split, mixed veggie, collard green, and salad. Salad. Okay. And this is injera, which is flour and water. So you take the bread like that. You see, mm -hmm. very soft it is. Okay, so you can tear it like that. Feels kind of spongy. Yeah, it's very spongy, very soft. Mm -hmm, very so soft. So what you do Just is you water. put it like that. Mm -hmm. You pinch it nice like this. You see, like yeah. that. Yeah. And then you read it. So 
Use your fingers, no exactly. utensils. Exactly, nothing, no this utensils. Is... And then it's also very customary to feed each other, if you don't mind. I don't? No? And I customary. feed you. Okay, I, you put it I in my mouth say, or yes, I take it? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's mm. the way it works. Oh, and it's fantastic. Exactly, that's the way it works, mm. okay? Mm. Love it. Ooh, okay. little spicy, very good. <laughs> All the vegetables okay. cooked with virgin olive oil and very healthy, very tasty, very sweet. Now this again is spicy yellow split peas. Spicy yellow split peas. Mm. It's fabulous. Just ah. the right amount of spice. Wonderful. Ah. I bet kids love coming here and being Absolutely. able to eat with this their is, hands. This is their heaven. This is kids' heaven. You know? If you really like something, it's all, you. You say I want more of this. Yes, more they of that. Go bring you more of that. All you can eat one set price for either exactly. the vegetables or the or meat. All the meat right? as well. What we have here is the beef. Beef. Yeah. This is a lamp I told you earlier. Very fruity sweet. This is a mild chicken. So and this what, is the, the the spicy chicken. Spicy chicken. Yeah. By the way, it's a red meat. There's no fat. We trim it only the red meat. So. Oh my goodness. How does ring to it? Oh my goodness, the sauce is in it. Yeah, so the sauce blood. is very nice. Because mm. what that the barbaric does is it will give you that zing to it, but it doesn't give you the hotness. Right. Oh, but that's fabulous. That is, exactly. This lamp has been first boiled, cooked again to mm -hmm. take the fat out. You don't have that matinee flavor. No. Okay. Very sweet and tasty. Okay, now I'm not usually a big lamb fan, so we'll see. Okay, I'm not kidding. See that? I like it. See? Mm, right. That's very good. The onion, mm -hmm. the ginger, and, and the, 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 the coriander. Yeah, it's not the fatty turmeric. at all. Yeah, the turmeric will give the color and the mm -hmm. flavor. That, that's what the beauty about that. Very good. Well, Seifu, I want to thank you so much. Thank you. It's thank been you very much. wonderful. Thank you for coming. And thank you. As we've seen, the Blue Nile, they offer wonderfully seasoned food. It's all cooked in a healthy, low-fat way. And as Seifu said, it's more than just a restaurant. It's a destination, and it's definitely going to be a meal you'll remember. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. The silky sounds of the Jazz Fest heat up Hart Plaza, and downtown Royal Oak transforms into Ford Arts, Beats, and Eats. Fifth Third Bank celebrates agriculture and our grand old state fair, while downtown Hamtramck celebrates Labor Day. Head to Shane Park for the funky and unique Universe Soul Circus, and Plymouth welcomes Autumn with their Fall Festival. Visit Rochester's Art and Apples Festival, then head to the Deli in the Alley Party for good eats and music. Greenfield Village revs up for the Old Car Festival, then see the newest water trends at the Boating and Outdoor Festival. Step back in time at the Northville Victorian Festival. And Detroit Restaurant Week is back with Discount Dining. Explore historic Detroit sites on two wheels. Then keep a lookout for the city's creative side at the Design Festival. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. Heading into the fall, we want to share with you some of the most popular events that kick off during Labor Day weekend and run through the end of the year. Labor Day is full of fun in the D. Head to Royal Oak for Oakland County's largest festival celebration, the Ford Arts, Beats and Eats. Get your groove on with more than 200 performances on 10 stages, a highly ranked juried fine art show, over 60 local restaurants with some of the finest cuisine in Metro Detroit, art, jewelry, and more. Something for everyone, and it's a great celebration, and it benefits a lot of local charities. Or you can head to downtown for the Detroit Jazz Festival. The festival takes place on over 2 million square feet of downtown Detroit, from Hart Plaza on the riverfront, three blocks north to beautiful Campus Marshes Park. There are two stages on the north end and three stages at Hart Plaza, plus a jazz talk tent and the Kitbop area. This is truly one of the premier jazz events in the world. I felt that we were obligated to let the city of New Orleans and the world know about this festival. It's one of the best, if not the best, in the country, if not the world. In October, the leaves start to change and there's a chill in the air, along with ghosts and goblins and ghouls. And some of our favorite things have to do with Halloween. 
and there is no better family Halloween evening than at Greenfield Village and their turn of the 20th century Halloween. Follow an endless path of hand-carved jack-o'-lanterns and meet colorful characters along the way. Feel the whoosh as the headless horseman rides by and make stops at several treat stations spread throughout Greenfield Village. Oh, it event? was wonderful, more than we expected. Or in Mount Clemens, don't miss the funeral tea and cemetery walk. This is really cool. You start out at the Crocker House Museum where you get immersed in an 1880s wake and learn the history behind the customs of funeral services. And then you're on your way to Clinton Grove Cemetery to visit the grave sites of notable citizens. But what's really interesting is that the reenactors talk to you about the past of the person they are portraying at the cemetery. I was Chief Michael Smith and this was our 1923 Irons Fox fire engine. I'm George Crocker from the Crocker House, and these are my three wives. Now, it may seem a bit morbid, but it's actually a really great family outing. Okay, November, and it's cold outside, so how about jumping in the car and taking your family for a cruise along Hines Drive for the Wayne County Light Fest? The Light Fest turns Hines Drive into the Midwest's longest drive through holiday light display. So turn up the heat and from the toastiness of your car you can enter an enchanted world of colorful rainbows, snowflakes and candy canes. The display begins at Heinz Drive and Merriman Road in Westland and ends near Telegraph in Dearborn Heights where the little ones can meet Santa and stock up on hot chocolate and other kinds of goodies. Now, on Thanksgiving Day, you get yourself up early and you head to downtown Detroit for a great family tradition, America's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This parade is one of the country's oldest and most celebrated parades, complete with extravagant floats and some of the best live performances. And Santa Claus makes another appearance in the region at the end of the parade. Now in December, the snow might be flying, but that just makes the outdoor events that much more fun. And you don't want to let the cold stop you from getting in the holiday spirit. Where we have carolers, four stages of music, we have crafts, we have artisans working, stores, sleigh rides, you name it. It's here uh. in Griefville Village for the holidays. This is 200 years of American Christmas, from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the South to the North. And we take all the traditions and bring them inside Greenfield Village and celebrate them. And the end of the evening, there's fireworks. You'll step into a Christmas card from the past. Delightful holiday shops, Santa and live reindeer ice skating. This is one of the greatest holiday events in the nation and it's right here in Dearborn. You can also head out to Holly in Oakland County for their Dickens Festival. Their downtown village streets create the perfect setting to see the characters from Dickens' A Christmas Carol come to life. This free event also offers caroling choirs, hot roasted chestnuts, and much, much more. Fish and chips, get your wonderful fish and chips here, best on the street. And if you need a warm-up, be sure to duck into some of their restaurants, shops, and cafes. It's quite a Dickens experience. Can they see me? No. Sure is good news for them. <laughs> Well, these are just a few of our recommendations, but be sure to log on to visitdetroit.com for a ton of other worthwhile events that run September through December. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy
Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.